So if someone has a healthy mouth, there are three categories that um, we can say under periodontal health. They could have periodontal health or a healthy mouth on an intact periodontium, on a mouth that has no bone loss. They could have periodontal health on a reduced periodontium in a non-periodontitis patient. Uh, or they could have periodontal health on a reduced periodontium in a successfully treated stable periodontitis patient. A mouth boy. Well, let's look at all of these conditions and understand what they what they all mean. So periodontal health on an intact periodontium. This is the normal one that we would see if someone's mouth is healthy, like this person here. This person has a healthy mouth, coral pink. We see stippling. The gums are nice and snug against the uh, the teeth, and there's no redness. So this person has a healthy mouth. And when we look at their radiograph, you can see that the bone level is, is perfectly normal. Remember, the bone should be just 2 millimeters below the CEJ. And so here is our CEJ right here, and it's just 2 millimeters below, and the bones are intact. So because the bones are intact, um, this is an example of someone who is completely healthy, periodontal health, on an intact periodontum on a periodontum that is intact where there's no recession and there's no bone loss. Now sometimes we can see periodontal health, so gums that look healthy, and again, you might see recession and you might say, oh, I don't think this is healthy, but if I were to probe in this area, I wouldn't see much bleeding. Um, and it looks fairly pink, so here's an example of a healthy or somewhat healthy uh, mouth, but it is, a it is on a reduced periodontum. See the recession? The recession is making it a reduced periodontium, and it is on a non-periodontitis patient. It is on a patient or a client who does not have bone loss, so they don't have significant bone loss over here. The reason why we see this recession is because perhaps this client was brushing excessively when they were probably using, or he or she was probably using a hard toothbrush and scrubbing like crazy, and it was causing these recession. So healthy mouth, generally speaking, it is a healthy mouth, but it is a healthy mouth on a reduced periodontium in a non-periodontitis patient, in a patient who does not have periodontitis, who does not have bone loss. And it, this patient has a reduced periodontium, it does have recession, and the reason why it has recession is because of excessive brushing. But this patient does not have periodontitis. This patient is not a periodontal client. And the reason is because they don't have significant bone loss. They don't have bone loss. Here, we see is uh, a person who has healthy gums. Well, the gums are pretty healthy. There is no bleeding. So if I were to probe, there's no bleeding. It looks pretty nice and pink. So this person has healthy gums, known as periodontal health. But it is on a reduced periodontium. And why is it on a reduced periodontium? We see recession, right? The gum should be over here. So the gum should be over here and it has receded, it has gone down. And this person is a periodontal patient. We see significant bone loss, right? The bone levels should be over here and we see the bone has gone down. So this is someone who had periodontitis, but now it's stable. So now the bone level is right over here. And as we're monitoring this patient, the bone level is not worsening, it's staying the same. So when we have a patient who, is, who has healthy gums, who had bone loss in the past, but it's successfully treated, they're doing brushing, they're flossing, they're coming to see the dentist or hygienist regularly, they're maintaining their oral health. This is a person who we would classify as someone who has periodontal health on a reduced periodontium, reduced periodontium because they do have some recession, their, uh, their gums have gone down, but this person has successfully treated stable periodontitis. That means that yes, they had bone loss in the past. As we see here, the bone level has gone down, but it is stable. The bone level is not worsening over time. So this person is considered this statement or this category is what we would call this client.